There were powerful competing forces on the Australian dollar this week, but it did end up the week somewhat stronger, probing above 72 cents. On the negative side have been commodity prices once again. The iron ore price is down 5.6% so far this week to around $45 a tonne. And pricing for agreements for 2016 and 2017 has dropped below $40 a tonne. There's also pressure on other commodities including copper, nickel and coal. The basic story is still the same, that the global economy is growing only sluggishly, while supply for most commodities is ample. This is pushing down prices and is likely to remain a weight on the Australian dollar for some time. On the positive side for the Australian dollar is the outlook for Australian interest rates. The Reserve Bank minutes this week confirmed that they are optimistic on Australia's growth prospects for 2016, even though they recognise some downside risks from China and also note that inflation is very low. Pricing for another RBA rate cut is only about 30% by the February 2016 meeting. This hasn't moved a great deal over the week, so it has been a source of support for the Australian dollar. Also supportive for the Australian dollar, and indeed the catalyst for the Aussie to probe above 72 cents, was a wave of US dollar selling. This came soon after the release of the Federal Reserve's minutes of its meeting from October. The minutes made clear that the Fed is very seriously considering a rate hike at the December meeting. So obviously that's supportive for the US dollar. But there was also a lot of discussion about the outlook for 2016 and how interest rates in the US are likely to rise only gradually. So while pricing for a rate hike at the Fed's December meeting remains around 66% chance and that indeed may rise in coming weeks, the outlook for 2016 shows that markets see the federal funds rate rising to only about half a percent by June 2016. So while US interest rates are likely to rise starting from next month, this may only provide limited further support for the US dollar near term, as markets focus on the prospect of only a very gentle tightening cycle. Looking to the week ahead, the US calendar is crammed full of data in the first half of the week, uh, really finishing up around Wednesday morning as markets close down for the Thanksgiving holiday on Thursday. In Australia, we have effectively the opposite calendar with not much of note until on Wednesday when we see the Q3 construction data numbers for Australia, which is one of the inputs to the GDP report out on the 2nd of December. Also next week, on Thursday, we get the private capital expenditure survey. So what businesses invested in the third quarter and also what they're planning to invest over the financial year 2015-16. This will be closely watched by the RBA as it's hoping for an improvement in business investment plans. All this is likely to leave the Australian dollar in familiar ranges in the week ahead. Support for the Aussie should come in around 70 cents given the outlook for the Reserve Bank cash rate. But Aussie dollar rallies to say 72.50 are likely to struggle given the outlook for commodity prices where ongoing weakness should weigh on the Aussie. It's also likely that multi-week at least the Aussie does head lower and finishes the year below 70 cents once we see the expected increase in US interest rates in December. We'll speak to you next week.